and I have horses trying to help me here. All right, getting back in the saddle is what, whether we're fit or we're fat. Here's fat. And here's fit. Mother and daughter. Anyway, whether fit it takes one thing, and that's commitment. And I want to show you how you can do, whether you can do one stretch or ten, we want to be able to use what we have available. And we, want, we don't want to go buying a gym membership or expensive um, equipment. We want to be able to come out in the yard and work with our friends here um, or without them. We don't even need a horse to do the exercises I'm going to show you. Uh, just look around the house and the barn and the yard. Remember always to be safe. Um, make sure you're secure. Make sure it's sturdy and make sure you're working with when you're working outside. No, no, Sinclair. Back up. Back. When you're working, make sure someone knows to come check on you if, you, if you're gone or outside for too long. Uh, we're not going to try to win the Tevis or the Olympics. We want to win by getting back on our horses. If it isn't uh, fitting in the saddle, maybe. Maybe it's driving. Um, it's the fa one of the fastest growing sports with horses. What we need... Stop! Sinclair. What we need is commitment, commitment, commitment. Commit to it. Commit to what, what you want to do and what you want to achieve with the horses. And um, there was a saying we had in karate, what the mind can conceive, the body can achieve. So, use visualization. It's a very powerful tool. And when you visualize what you want to do and where you want to be, then it isn't long before you're back on the back of one of our horse, one of your horses. And even if you just come out and sit with them, right, Sinclair, they'll assist in making us feel better. They're very powerful healing. Okay, here's a simple exercise. It's like you're putting your foot in a stirrup lift. You have to do it a little spring and lift. When you get that, you do able to reach that, reach up a little higher. This could be hard for me too. One, two, three, lift. Okay. Lift. And since we're trying to build our core muscles also, we do both sides like when we're training horses. And I'm trying to also build my knees up. I'm gonna just try to do little ones that bend my knees a little, also. And I have a lot of help from my friends here I'm trying to eat the camera. Sinclair, I'm not gonna be able to do this one. See, I can't do that one. But anyway. This is what we're going to work towards it, getting back in the saddle. We could start with low things to step and improve our knee strength. Yes, Sinclair, but you have to move because we're going to have Ramona demonstrate a low step up and holding on to a relatively secure object like a fence that doesn't wilder too much. Come on, Ramona, hold that fence. Bucking horses, but always be careful to keep our balance. we we'll try to. We don't want to wobble and tip and fall. Right, Heather? <laughs> we want to be careful with the mountain blocks, making sure they're secure. And we don't want too much help from horses. But this is how we're going to strengthen our knees, if we can. Okay, but just in case you get tired. But again, holding on. It's called horse stance in karate. It's uh, say, hands, like Seuchin. Well, I say hold on to something. It's like ballet also. This is like ballet. This is plie. Yes, a plie or Sayuchin stance in karate, but it strengthens. Ooh, does it strengthen? Because uh, I'm doing this while you lady to doing this, and of course. Okay, well that's not going to happen with me. Heather, our young and fit, <laughs> our little pole dancer here. Come on, Heather, let's show us how it's done. You do it with your legs crossed. No, heel that's to heel, and yeah, and now try to bend. <laughs> Okay, Wait, Heather, make a yes. Yes, Heather. The 50 of them, apart. Heather. The further your feet apart, the easier it's going to be. Yep, and this the is how. The you bring them together, the harder. Yes, if and. Over across. Of like course, Heather's the show off. It's <laughs> this, is, this is why we're going to boot her, everybody. <laughs> this is why Heather's going to get the boot. Okay. There we Ready? go. 
We use <laughs> we use this to strengthen knees, buttocks, <laughs> inner core strength, ankles, and of course have a good sense of humor with it. We want humor and we want strength building. Yes, so graceful, Heather. <laughs> That's the idea. That's what makes it oh, keeping the heels, heels flat. On the okay, but always hold on to something. Especially when you're hitting your golden oldies, hold on to something sturdy. Even better than a round pen fence. Um, we just want to demonstrate that you can do this all safely and over time and build the muscles so they'll be back the in cat. the saddle. The cat's now involved. Yep, that uh, pet the kitty. Pet the kitty. <laughs> Pet the kitty! <laughs> you can also do the sides. Side. Yep. And do this slow. If it starts out with one, two, or three, do one, two, or three. If you can do ten, do ten. And In if a you week. want to do more core strength training, hold it. Yeah. You'll feel that. You and when you have that. a pair of mucks on, believe me, that's strengthening your core. <laughs> and you'll feel it right in the outside of your thigh. Okay, show off. <laughs> Want to come in and demonstrate? Oh me? Oh, I, I was. Right now, I need a steady hand to hold the camera. <laughs> oh, ah, ah, you get back over there. 